The red flags were there for anyone who wanted to find them. Julie Payette left the Montreal Science Centre and the Canadian Olympic Committee amid complaints she mistreated staff. It was pretty easy for me to find out that she left two past workplaces amid controversy and questions around her treatment of staff there. So why didn't your government ask some pretty basic questions about her ability to lead? And why won't you commit to using a committee to select the next governor general? Uh, as I said, uh, we are looking right now at processes that can be strengthened. Trudeau stuck to that answer no matter how many times he was asked. Obviously, uh, the vetting process that was in place was followed. We will continue to look at uh, the best way to uh, select people for uh, the vice regal appointments. He also didn't apologize to employees who claimed they were verbally abused. We want to thank them uh, for their work and uh, reassure them that we will continue to stand up uh, for uh, workplaces uh, that are safe and secure. The whole mess could have been avoided, say the Conservatives, if Trudeau had have used a nonpartisan committee to pick the Governor General, rather than going with his own personal choice. Is the one who put aside the committee, is the one who decide, I know better than everybody else, he was wrong. CBC News learned today about 100 people took part in the review. It cost close to $400,000. And the report's findings concluded there was a toxic and poisonous workplace culture at Rideau Hall and the Governor General and her secretary were responsible. While Payette may be gone from office, starting today, the government will pay Payette an annuity, an annual salary for the rest of her life, about $150,000 a year. The NDP says that doesn't sit well with Canadians. Anytime there is uh, inappropriate conduct, particularly towards uh, employees, uh, we've got to take a really hard look at uh, are, is that behavior being rewarded or is it being discouraged? And, and what do our actions tell uh, the employees? But right now, there's no way for the government to refuse Payette that annuity. It's written into law. All of this meaning the Canadian public will pay for Payette's appointment for the rest of her life, whether they like it or not. Ashley, the people at the heart of this story have been your sources. And how did they react to the Prime Minister's comments today? Well, Ian, with no apology from Justin Trudeau, they said it felt like a missed opportunity, especially since the Governor General didn't acknowledge or apologize to staff for the devastating consequences her choices and actions have had. They said that true leadership would have meant condemning what happened and apologizing to Canadians for letting it happen so long. All right, Ashley, thank you very much.